back, Shane Starnes with DroidMinerX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys one of the hottest ROMs right now for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, this is the M Muzzy ROM. It's AOSP 4.2. And the way he puts it, this is stock AOSP uh, with minimal changes. The changes that have been made have only been made to make everything work nice and smoothly. So there's not a lot of bloat here. This is not an AOKP or a CM10. Uh, this is just strictly AOSP, so this would be as vanilla as it gets. Uh, you're not going to have a ton of extra features, but everything's going to work. Everything's going to fly. It's going to be fast. Um, we'll just pull up the app drawer and show you how quickly it moves. It's going to score high in the quadrant. Um, everything about this ROM is just smooth and stable so that's that's the plus about running this type of ROM is that you just get pure stability the G apps are integrated so you will not have to flash those separately uh, it will include the Play Store and all of your Google applications it does have the quick settings like so so you can just pull that down just like in 4.2 um, Google now from the home is all functioning perfectly there um, let's see the lock screen seems to still be the 4.1 no. Let's see. We still have, okay, the 4.2 lock screen is here. So we can go straight into the camera. Or we can go over to the widgets and add widgets. Or we can just simply unlock. Of course, the camera, it is the camera uh, 4.2. with all of our extra features. The only real modifications here is a GPS lock tweak. Um, native tethering has been built in so you can actually tether without having to use the free Wi-Fi tether application or Foxfire or anything like that. You can actually just go into settings. And uh, let's see more and tethering portable hotspots and turn that on there. I don't have a SIM card in this phone for now uh, or else I would show you how that works but that does work out of the box with this. This includes the volume fix by Peter Alfonso and also uh, OTG cable support so that you can add an external uh, external storage like a thumbstick uh, via an OTG cable uh, or if you wanted to use an application by Chainfire like um, there's a DSLR controller application that requires OTG that's all possible with this ROM. And that really is about it for this ROM. It's clean, it's fast, it's smooth, and like I said, there's not a lot of bloat to bog it down. Uh, the way that we're gonna install this, obviously you need to be unlocked, you'll need to be rooted, have a custom recovery installed. I like to use TeamWin Recovery Project. We'll power the phone off. Once the phone's off, we're gonna hold both volume buttons and the power button till the bootloader comes up. From the bootloader, we're gonna choose recovery mode and select that. Now his instructions say that you should use the super wipe script. Um, I'm going to show you a way to do it without the super wipe script. Or you can use the super wipe script. Either way it'll work just fine. You can go into wipe and system, wipe system first. Then factory reset. Then cache. Then dial it cache. You should be good to go. That's all I did and I was fine. Uh, if that doesn't work for you, then go right ahead and use that super wipe script. Uh, you can install the Toro signed and it'll give the version there for 4.1.2. So you would select that and swipe to flash. Now that's all for installing that ROM. It shouldn't take more than about five minutes and then you just reboot the phone. So when that's finished, you'll just reboot system. And you're going to have the stock 4.2 Jelly Bean boot animation. So guys, that's all for the M Muzzy Jelly Bean 4.2.1. Uh, like I said, it's one of the cleanest and fastest ROMs available for the Galaxy Nexus right now. Uh, you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx for the latest news on this channel. Plus, any giveaway information will be posted there. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you in any way. Click that subscribe button for more coverage on the Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy S3 Droid DNA, Galaxy Note 2, Nexus 7, Nexus 10, and all the other phones that I cover. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Here is take a look at the front of the box. As you guys can see, we have the Verizon logo and then Samsung Galaxy Note 2.